good day guys and girls. I'd like to start off by saying thank you to everybody who is a new subscriber to my channel. I really, really appreciate the support, the kind words, uh, the comments, the questions, everything. I really appreciate it. As you can see, I try to respond. I, I shouldn't say I try. I do respond to everybody who comments. So if you have a comment, put it down there. I will respond. If you have a question down there, I will try to help you out as best as I can. Now I'd like to also apologize at the beginning of this video for not having video capture software. As of right now I am not monetized, I'm slowly working towards that. We have just over 900 subscribers at this point. Just so you know we need to get to a thousand. So I really like if you're watching this video and you've seen some of my videos before and you're not subscribed, think about hitting that subscribe button down in that corner there the end of the video I'd really appreciate it we can get some video capture software and try to get a little bit better content or better looking content up there but really at the end of the day what's most important is the content itself and that's what I'm trying to get to you guys and girls so that you can get in there and continue playing so today is actually January 8th 2022 and we had an update on January 5th and I was really really hoping that the problems with Xbox integration to Caldera was going to be fixed. It would be an easy enough thing to uh, basically make sure that you don't have to have Xbox Live Gold like we did before, like since April of 2021, in order to play a free-to-play game like Warzone. But as you can see here, they did a gameplay fix, which was Fire Sale Public Event. Um, who cares about that? Uh, and then they did some bug fixes, fixed some collision issues, uh, fixed an issue causing the loadout drop to spawn in the exact same XY coordinates. Again, who cares? It happened very, very rarely from what I heard. And uh, fixed an issue causing the Awoken Francis Operator skin to appear invisible beyond certain distances. There's about 50 meters that uh, basically they'd be invisible or you might see just a head floating around. That's a great fix. I can't argue with that. That needed to be fixed right away. That should have been actually a hot fix uh, that was done over the holidays. Because as you can see, the previous updates to that was December 19th. So, again, I'm glad they did that fix. But we have a third of the players out there. A third of uh, approximately 100 million uh, account users on Warzone that can't play the game right now because... They don't realize they need Xbox Live Gold, which is the information we're trying to get to you. You need Xbox Live Gold. You need to have um, the video settings set a certain way, which was the first video that I did, in order for everything to run, I wouldn't say smoothly, but enough that you can play it. Again, the integration has not been good. The developers had lots of time to do this, lots of beta tests. They didn't. Another interesting thing, Raven Software put up this tweet saying that the patch notes were lived on January 5th. And additionally, additionally, happy 2022. We're excited to be back to work. <laughs> I, I, I bet you are. Here's the first of many updates we are working towards over the coming weeks. Look, look for more updates soon and keep the feedback coming. Well, we've given them plenty of feedback, as have others, and nothing's changed. So, again, they came up with another update which was yesterday, January 7th, I thought, okay, here's another chance they're going to say that they fixed the integration of Xbox to Caldera, you don't need Xbox Live Gold anymore, they'll put a little explanation in there, whatever. Nope, they've just basically changed the uh, plunder threshold to 2 million from 1 million. This was great, actually, however, I gotta say that Plunder Duos is the worst plunder mode besides removing plunder those couple of times that they did it. They got such flack for removing Plunder. Uh, it was insane. And for those of you that haven't played Plunder or don't like to play Plunder, you think that it's just for loading up guns and all that kind of stuff, give it a try in Caldera. It is super sweaty. You do not get a chance to get away from enemies. It is very, very rare. Uh, you usually have two or three teams that are landing and respawning on you. It is super, super sweaty. So for those that say the sweat, that uh, Plunder is not a uh, real game mode or, or it's just for leveling up guns, try it out. You'll see what I mean. 
But anyways, that was a good fix actually, except for the fact that they went from, I think it was trios, it was trios to duos. Um, so again, I guess that kind of helps, but now you got a duo that's trying to get $2 million. It probably should have been around the one and a half million dollar mark, in my opinion. Um, bug fixes, collision issues with elements across Caldera. Yeah, again, I guess it's good that they're doing it, but whatever. They go on to explain why they're uh, nerfing and buffing weapons that they do and how they're going to do that in Caldera. Again, uh, it's base to me, what I took away from this was basically they hear what people are saying about guns that need to be buffed and nerfed, but they're going to do it on their own time because they have their own philosophy. We'll see how it works. I'm not going to judge too much right now. Um, they did actually go through and nerf the double barrel shotgun. Um, they changed the akimbo damage. They basically halved it. So that's good. But if you look at uh, Gumi's videos, it wasn't enough. Um, and I think Raven knows that. But whatever. Really, the reason why we were looking at this update was to see if... Xbox players can now play without gold or Xbox Live Game Pass, which I've also heard works, uh, but I have not tested myself. So as we can see, the past two updates, they have done absolutely nothing to help out Xbox Live and Xbox users, and it's up to us to basically subscribe to Xbox Live and hope that they'll do some kind of refund or reimbursement or maybe give us... Um, battle pass tokens or or something uh, I just don't think it's fair that Xbox users have to pay when Sony users do not and we know why that is because Raven Activision is in bed with Sony um, and they don't want to you know obviously offend all the PC users out there either not that they have to pay to play but all the PC users are the ones that are doing the streaming and the content creation, so they really don't want to offend them. Xbox users get left in the dark, even though, like I said, we would make up at least a third of the users out there. And anybody that's got a console knows there's no other console to play on but Xbox. You know, Sony finally got their stuff figured out with their controllers after uh, five, five generations of their console, but Xbox had it bang pretty much right out of the gate that's the controller to use anyways I'm getting a little far off subject basically updates have not changed anything you still need Xbox Live Gold in order to play Warzone Caldera on the Xbox Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S all that so again thank you for tuning in if you're one of the um, very few that have subscribed I really appreciate it. There's approximately 90, it was high 90s percent of the people that are watching these videos are not subscribed. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out. It's right down there. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. I will get to them. Questions, I will get to them. I promise you. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Tell me why down there. And... We'll see you on the next video, and remember, you never know unless you bear.